Hello, hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel where I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you. Today I have another exciting Christmas in July video for you. And if you haven't seen my previous ones, I'll be sure to leave a link here on the top right hand corner and also listed in the description box below. And with all that being said, if you like to see what I create, Keep on watching and let's art today. So the first craft that I will be making is another adorable wreath that I absolutely love and need to make more in the future. So I'm first taking some of this mesh ribbon and going around the 18 inch wreath form that I purchased at Dollar Tree because I will be adding some ornaments to this wreath and I just like having something to attach it to rather than just the bare iron or metal wreath form if that makes any sense. So what I did was fold the ribbon in half to make it a little thicker because it is thin and light and then I added some hot glue to the wreath form and now I'm just going around and around until the whole wreath form is covered. And here is what it looks like completely covered. So now I'm going to set that aside and grab my ornaments. Now I've had these for a couple years and I am going to recycle them and use them for my wreath. So two products that I picked up from the kids section at Dollar Tree are these golf balls and also tennis, table tennis balls that I am going to use as ornaments as well. I'm showing you that I'm going to be using acrylic paints in bright red, purple, light blue, and white. And I'm also going to be priming the ornaments with my gesso paint. Now this step is unnecessary if you just want to spray paint your ornaments, which I also spray painted a couple of mine as well. But um, to get the colors I really wanted, I just wanted to use my acrylic paints. Remember these are just ideas that I have and you can customize your wreath however you like. So here I'm just priming some of my ornaments and I will then add my acrylic paints once the gesso is dried. be painting the ornaments with the color acrylic paints and I'm showing you here I did add some glitter to some of them now with this wreath I was trying to go with more pastel colors so light blues purples pinks etc and I absolutely love how they turned out and I think I will be making more pastel Christmas things in the future Tell me what you guys like to do for the holidays. Do you stay very traditional or do you like to change it up? Because I like to change it up pretty much every year. Tell me in the comments down below. So while the ornaments are drying, I am taking this uh, Santa sign that I got from Dollar Tree last year and I'm going to be sanding down the glitter parts that say ho 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 with I believe the sandpaper said 20 grit until it's nice and smooth because I will be painting his hat and as I'm painting his hat I will be painting it a light pink but I do go in back and darken the pink because it was a little bit too light and it almost looked the color white and if you can please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click on the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new videos. 
Now that the paint is dry, I will be attaching Santa to the wreath form using some hot glue on the top of his hat and on the bottom of his beard. And here are all the ornaments and fillers that I am going to use to decorate my wreath form. And if anybody knows a good hot glue gun brand or maybe just a better one than I am using, can you please leave me a comment below because I am in need of a bigger and better hot glue gun. And uh, with that being said, I am adding all the ornaments and everything with the hot glue gun. I really do love this project. I love how each ornament gives off a different look and a different texture to the wreath and I just think it's adorable. Please hit that thumbs up button if you think it's adorable too. And here is the final look. I just love how it turned out. I really am enjoying the pastel colors this year for some sort of reason and I just think it came out so great and I am excited to make more in the future. <laughs> Okay, moving on to our second project. I am going to take some of this floral form and I am going to be making miniature lollipops. So I'm taking some of my acrylic paints, the same colors as I used on the wreath, and I'm going to make different designs on the floral form. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my Christmas in July playlist that I will have in the description box below if you missed out on any other crafts that I've done. So while the other one is drying, I'm going to be working on this one. I am going to be decorating it with some of these um, little decoration beads, but they're not really beads, they're more like paper that are curled up into little pieces. So first I'm taking my hot glue gun and making circles and then adding the color I want onto the circles, patting down gently, making sure not to smush all the glue down and I will be doing that until I like the pattern that I'm going for. So I was just showing you that I'm going further down onto the foam piece with the colors and filling up until the whole form is filled if that makes any sense as you can just see what I'm doing right here and now I'm just painting the stick that's going to hold the lollipop in place and now I'm adding more decorations to the outer edges of the form because I wanted to that's all <laughs> And what I'm using is the mesh um, tubing that Dollar Tree is selling. It actually sells it all year round. You just have to look in the floral section, at least at my Dollar Tree. And I'm using some hot glue to hold it down in place. So I did add my stick into the lollipop using some hot glue. And now I'm making little bows out of Christmas ribbon that I've had for a couple years. Here is the final look of the lollipops. I think these are so adorable and you can put them pretty much anywhere in a Christmas tree, in a centerpiece, just lying around the house. It's so festive, so easy to do 
and I did do the back of each lollipop. Anyways, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It would mean so much to me to help my channel grow. Thank you so much if you are already subscribed, and I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you!